Hey everybody, welcome to the Girthy Hogs Network. I'm Stephanie Deutsch. And I'm John Deutsch. This is the Girthcast, episode one. That's exciting. Uh, today we're going to go through a few news topics that have been selected, I think are going to be good talking points. Uh, also, Jerry Springer died. What? Age 79. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Ten, year, 10 years older than my favorite number. Um, I remember watching him Jeez. staying home from school. Mm hmm. I do. Um, yep. Sick and watching him and like uh, Family Feud and like Price is Right and shit like that. <clears throat> you know, I actually kind of hated so, that uh, show. Uh, which one? Jerry. Jerry Springer. I yeah. liked Maury better. I'm more of a Maury guy. Yeah. I, I was a Maury Povich yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were all kind and of. And then uh, after Maury, uh, then there was the Steve Wilkos show. Yeah. Oh which my was God. basically just Maury with Steve Wilkos. But uh, Maury, more, I think Maury's the goat. Uh, but really, Jerry Springer started it all, so he gets some credit on that. Uh, yeah. Also, shout out Ricky Lake. People forget about Ricky Lake. Shout out Ricky Lake. Who's Ricky Lake? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right. Um, where were we picking up? Oh, yeah. This is the inaugural episode of the Girthy Hogs podcast. That is exciting. So uh, I think we should cheers to that. All right. I think we should cheers. Yep. All right, so we're going to cheers. Welcome to the Girthy Hogs Network. Keep it girthy. This is Girthcast, episode one. All right. That's pretty good. I didn't know we were doing that. Uh, well, we did. All right. Before we get started, I want you guys, I'm going to give a couple shout outs real quick. The Hometown Horrors Podcast. Check them out on Spotify, Facebook, Instagram. You know, they upload every two weeks. Uh, if you like spooky stories, ghost stories, uh, haunted adventures, uh, just general creepy stuff. Um, it's not all ghost stuff, but there, it's just, you know, anything that gives you the creeps. It's a very cool, it's a good old friend of mine, uh, Dan Billick created that and uh, he's got a, a great awesome team of people that are working with him on that so give that give that a shout out that give that a look uh hometown horrors podcast um, you can find him anywhere and also i'm wearing the shirt gone cold my friend steve's band uh, a bunch of very very talented musicians uh this is also a fucking sick ass shirt uh very cool artwork but they are pretty badass and they're very very girthy um, yes. Uh, they have a new single coming out on May 11th. It is uh, going to be fucking awesome. It's called Drowning. Uh, they are also on basically all the social media platforms as as well as like Spotify, YouTube. They have a couple of music videos already out, but they have a new one dropping on May 11th. So make sure you give them a like, a subscribe, check them out. If you're into like metalcore, that kind of stuff, then you're, you'll like them. I have one of these shirts too, but it's covered in spit up right now. So, because yeah. we do have a five month old baby, so yeah. that is part of life. Yeah, this one actually has a little bit of spit up on the back, but that's on the back, so I figured I'd wear it anyway because I want to shout out my friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, once again, Jerry Springer is dead at seventy nine. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Uh, I already drank that one. But... <laughs> well, I have this one. <laughs> It's Jerry Springer. Jerry. 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 And Ricky Lake and uh, Steve Wilkos and Maury Povich. Still don't know who Ricky Lake is. You don't know who Ricky Lake is. Yeah. All right. Let's get going on this. All right. Are there any topics you want to get to today? Anything on the to on your mind? What's uh, going on? What's going on in your world today, my love? What's going on in my world? I got spit up on a total of 12 thousand one hundred and thirteen times yeah but who's counting not me that's it's a lot of spit up uh she's been spitting up a lot lately <laughs> she really has yeah, yeah 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 but other than that really just not much not What's going much on in your world uh not much uh work today uh my coworker is annoying so that's <laughs> cool. uh, very annoying uh gets on my nerves ask the dumbest fucking questions in the world and uh 
just uh, at one point today, she asked if because I'm we're going out of town next weekend um, for our honeymoon. Long uh, overdue. A long overdue honeymoon, right? Um, I we have four kids together. Um, well, and, no. Well, well, we have <laughs> yeah, we have. I have two step kids. And, and I have uh, one and, step kid. And she has one, and, and then, we have one together. Okay, so we have an eight, a seven year old, and then I, a four year old, and then our five, our month, five old. month old. And um, my coworker, uh, knowing full well that uh, the oldest in our family is eight years old, uh, we're going out of town. She asked if, in a serious way, if uh, we were leaving the baby with the oldest to watch while we were gone for a week. Yeah. She thought an eight year old was going to look over a seven year old, a four year old and a baby for a week while school is still in. Uh, that's the kind of person I'm dealing with. She is uh, R worded <laughs> a little bit, a little bit R worded. Um, yeah. She is a, a miraculous kind of human being. I can't even believe she exists. She's like a cartoon character. Like, it, it blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually kind of wild to me that not only did she ask that, but then she said, well, when I was, you know, what did she say? She said, "When well, when I was, uh, when my kids were that age, I would leave them home alone. And it's like, yes, for a week? leave your kids home alone for a week with a baby no she didn't she just made that shit up she might have been left home alone while her mom was at work or her dad was at work before they got home maybe for an hour or two but not for a week and not with a baby (laughs) no that's fucking absolutely bad and two dogs and two cats yeah 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 no i could go way more in depth on that person but that would uh Probably should move yeah. on from that one. Yeah, we're, let's just uh, uh, cut, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. <laughs> cut it cut. out. Cut it out. Cut that out. Cut, 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 cut. All right. Uh, we already shouted out Hometown Horrors. Once again, check them out. And also Gone Cold. Uh, two very cool things. Very girthy. Both of them are very girthy. And that's why we are giving them shout outs. Uh, I, I did want to touch on the little bit of this is the girth cast episode one this is this is the big one but uh what we're gonna do i'm basically putting out the feelers so this is the tree of life the girth tree the girth tree it grows it's springtime it's growing the girth tree and then it gets girthier and girthier and girthier and then it spreads its branches so that's why we have the retrospective we have the booze reviews we're gonna have a sports segment. We're gonna have a gaming segment. We're gonna have basically anything you can think of. We're gonna cooking. we're gonna cooking. We're gonna have we're gonna have a branch off of the big umbrella that is the Girthy Hogs Network. Mm-hmm. Um, the Girthy Hogs origin story that is going to really we're really gonna go into depth with that um, in a later episode when I get the original Girth crew together, the Girth Squad, uh, and we cause a earthquake. Mm-hmm. Um, but that um, that involves us uh, a, a very good friend of mine and I going to a bar and uh, essentially going around and asking everybody how girthy their hog was while they were already in conversation. Complete strangers. Uh, I even asked a guy at the urinal how girthy his hog was and uh, didn't end too well. They uh, even have a shirt to commemorate that day. We sure do. But uh, that's that's a little bit of a background on it, but we'll go way more in depth on that on a on on a future date. Uh, we're gonna do some live on location moments. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have topics every week uh, on the Girthcast. Uh, this week uh, there there really isn't a full on topic like like uh, next. Next time we do one, I think we're going to do the nature episode where we're going to talk all about nature. It's going to be really nature. cool. Love nature. And then uh, we're going to also Great. do, right after that, we're going to do the Pirates episode. So look forward to that. That's going to coincide with the new retrospective that I'm working on about the legendary 1992 film Captain Ron. <laughs> starring Kurt Russell and Martin Short. Uh, that is a legendary film. It's a great movie. 
Um, it's it's right up there with all of the best nautical action adventure films of all times. So it's right up there with like uh, Master and Commander and Pirates of the Caribbean. It's it's up there. Never even heard of it. It's up there. Uh, uh, what's that one? Captain Phillips. I'm the captain now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I made him Arnold. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> you have a beer. Let's get fucked up. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't know why Captain Phillips. Uh, I don't know why he got. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what happened there. That was uh, <clears throat> supposed to go differently. But I do have some news stories I wanted to touch on. If you'd be interested in that. Yeah. Would you be down with that? Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, everything on Girthy Hogs is uh, completely unscripted and very spur of the moment. I have no idea what um, he's going to bring up. I screenshotted a few headlines earlier uh, today, and then I said, hey, do you want to do the first Girth cast? And uh, she has no idea what these are. Uh, I haven't even really dove into them. I don't even know if they're true. <coughs> All right. First up. We have the rat czar. The rat czar? The rat czar. Okay. Okay. New York City Mayor Eric Adams named former school teacher Kathleen Karate. Karate. <laughs> what? Uh, to a new position on April 12th. Karate is the rat czar. Officially, the director of rodent mitigation of New York City. Adam said it was clear we needed someone solely focused on leaving or leading our rat reduction efforts across all five boroughs. In 2022, rat sightings in the city increased by 74% over the previous year. That's a fucking lot. That's a lot of rats. That rat is a sightings. Lot of rats. That's reported rat sightings. So like how many times like are you going to see a rat and report it? Yeah. So like just think of it's up 74%, but how many are unreported? I if even... I see a rat, I'm not going to report it. I'm not going to yeah. like call the cops on a rat. Yeah. Unless it's Splinter. Because that dude's huge. He's like six <laughs> feet tall. But, um... Yeah. Okay. Uh, requirements for the job are listed as being highly motivated and somewhat bloodthirsty. So, if you want to be the rat czar. If you want to work for the rat czar, you got to be bloodthirsty. This just seems like... The beginning of like an origin story for a Batman villain. It's like, like that's what this sounds bounty like. Bounty hunter for exterminators. Yeah, it's uh, oh, and also with a swashbuckling attitude, crafty humor, and general aura of badassery. So essentially, what they're looking for is Jack Sparrow to come fight rats. Yeah. Basically, or ghost hunters, yeah. rat bird, rat. And then it says, uh, and a quote from Karate, it says, uh, whoosh, whoosh, "I look forward to sending the rats packing." All right. Um, I don't know. Like, would you be able to do that job? Uh uh-uh. uh. Would you be able to like kill rats? Uh uh-uh. uh. And like, we're talking New York City rats. These aren't. These are like rats that are the size of our cats. I caught a they're mouse. not like they're not little field mice that we get here in, we're we're in West Virginia. We don't really get big city rats here. But like we're talking rats that are like the size of literally like our cats. Like gross. And there's like millions of them. I caught a mouse once in a trap and it was the most disgusting thing ever. I flushed a fish down the toilet cuz it obviously like, you know it, yeah. Flushed it down the toilet, and it was one of the most horrifying things I ever did. If I came face to face with a rat, I think I would fucking die. Yeah, I flushed a, a fish down the toilet one time at my friend's house, and uh, they were very, very upset with me because I took it out of the refrigerator and flushed it. They were not cool with that. It was supposed to be dinner. What was its name? Uh, salmon, I think his name was. Ours was Fish Poppy. Uh, Fish Poppy. Okay. Uh, like, uh, Poppy, like, uh, from, like, yes. Trolls? Yes. Or, like, Poppy, like, hey, Big Poppy. The kids named the fish. We had two fish, and one of them was called Orange Fish, and the other one was called Fish Poppy. And one was called Orange Fish? Orange Fish and Fish Poppy. They named the fish, and that was during, you know... COVID. When they well yeah, and yeah. also when they were really into trolls. Okay, yeah, 
Yeah. R.I.P. Fish Poppy. R.I.P. Fish Poppy. I'll drink to that. R.I.P. Fish Poppy. We love you. Um, we'll we'll never forget you. Dearly, you. Even though but, you know, I don't... Only had you for a day. This, uh... This job description, basically, it's asking for jo- Jack Sparrow to show up and kill rats. Yeah, or but, Ghostbusters. Uh, I don't, I th- I would like to think that I have it in me to be that guy, to go in there and just, like, murder rats with, like, a machete or something, but I really think that after, like, a day of it, I really don't think I would like it very much. I don't think that I would enjoy that job. As you, funny, you know. as funny as it sounds, and as cool as it sounds, like... It just sounds hilarious. You're the rat czar, and you, know, so you got to be bloodthirsty, and you're just out there killing rats, getting rid of rats. You know, babe. But I you think know that would be use? a really fucked up job. You know what you could use? Uh, a gun. Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm going to fucking kill these rats with this fucking goddamn Viking axe. Hell yeah. Check this out. This is a rat killer. This is what you need to kill rats. I can see you doing it. Fucking Dane axe, dude. Yeah, and your uniform can Fuck be that. like a I Viking. I can fucking put their necks in there and just. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just. <laughs> <laughs> and then give them a little. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's put that away. Fuck those rat ass bitches up. <laughs> Suck ass bitch ass. You yeah. know, I, uh. I, I can had, totally see you doing that. You know, I had a guy. I knew a guy. His name was Vinny. He was a fucking rat. <laughs> you know this guy I knew? Yeah, Did I ever rat. tell you about fucking yeah, Vinny? Yeah, yeah, the rat bastard. Let me tell you about Vinny. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. He would come into my house. I would invite this motherfucker into my house. This motherfucker, Vinny. Tell he me was staying it. in my house rent free. In rent your house? Free, this motherfucker. Yeah. I'll tell you. This motherfucker was staying in my house rent free. And he was chewing through my fucking cereal boxes. All my fucking Lucky Charms were stale. He was chewing through the stove wires. My fucking burners didn't work. What about your TV? No, oh, that didn't fucking work either. He was chewing through those wires too. <sighs> yeah, he would get into the cat food. He would get into anything we had. He would get into rice, he the, the, the potatoes. He got into all of it. Did you kill him? Yeah, fuck yeah. Killed him with the fucking axe. <laughs> yeah. Rat bastard. He was a fucking rat. R.I.P. Vinny. Yeah. R.I.P. Vinny. All right. Well, I think it's safe to say that I would not want to be the rat czar. Would you? No. Riveting. Not in a million years. Riveting. Riveting stuff. Okay. Let's move on. Cleaning up. Police in Boredom, Ohio are still on the lookout for Hold a rock. Boredom? Boredom. Okay. Yeah, close enough. Boardman. Boardman. Oh. <laughs> okay. Boardman. Yeah, you're... Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. It's Ohio. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, police in Boardman, Ohio are still on the lookout for a robber who broke into a Bed Bath & Beyond. I didn't even know those were still around. Every Bed Bath & Beyond I know of has closed down. Hmm. So I guess in Boardman, Ohio, they're a little bit behind the times. Uh, good on Bed Bath & Beyond, though. This isn't going to help. Uh, store. They broke into a Bed Bath & Beyond. And surveillance captured a stocky male throwing a rock through a window at the store and then heading to a stock room in the back where he filled four shopping carts with 33 Dyson vi- vacuum cleaners. Four shopping carts. That's a lot of money. That's also like... That's a lot of effort to have four shopping carts. What did he do? Like, tie them together to get them out? I don't know, but he got away with it. The vacuums were valued between $500 and $750 each for a total loss of $17,000. Because there are no surveillance cameras outside the store, authorities didn't get a picture of the getaway vehicle. Oh, my God. These idiots did not fucking... Put any security camera. My next door neighbors have security cameras outside. I would sell Ever, my almost, left arm for a Dyson vacuum cleaner. You know how you know how many people have a fucking ring camera now. Yeah. Everybody's got their property on surveillance, but Bed Bath and Beyond doesn't. So somebody can just walk in there and steal four shopping carts worth of vacuums. 
That's outrageous. $17,000 worth of vacuums. Also, what I'm, what I'm even more curious about is uh, this guy, he was deliberate. He had a plan. All he stole were vac- vacuums, and they were all Dysons. So he's he's do- he's up to something. That's a very specific thing to steal. Also, he's stealing vacuum cleaners. And what what store doesn't have cameras outside? Right. Exactly. Or like or at like, their door. Not just store, but like mega corporation. You know, it's like. It's not like it's like your little mom and pop's convenience store on the corner. No, that's like a that's, major it's store. Bed Bath and Beyond. That'd be like Walmart not having security cameras. Yeah, and especially if it's one of the last ones standing. Yeah. Like you'd think that they or would maybe have, maybe like, they they got so some, many cutbacks they had to like get rid of those. They were like, you know what? Once you get out of our store with our shit, you're you're free to go. If you oh can manage God. to get out of our store with vacuum cleaners, uh, we can't do anything about it. That's essentially what this means to me. So, uh, I think tomorrow we should, uh, yeah, I was going to say, closest, uh, I was going to say, you know what we need to do. We should check their availability of Dyson vacuum I think vacuum there's cleaners. still one in Fairfax. That's pretty far. It's probably the closest one. It's like one. an hour and a half to go steal a vacuum. Probably still the closest one. So, and we would I go mean, for the higher, you know, like the yeah. $750 one. Yeah, well, if we're going to go that far, we might as well steal, like, at least 10 of them. Like I, don't think, I don't think we can do 33. That guy, that's, like, legendary status. Was he Four alone? He cart. was alone? He had to have been. It just says a man. So, uh, I hope you don't get caught. Whoever stole those vacuums, Mr. In Boredom, Ohio, Boardman, whatever the fuck it is. But if you're looking uh, to I rob hope a you store. Don't get I hope you don't get caught. I really don't, because... Uh, that's on them because they're fucking idiots for letting you get away with that. Check your check your local uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Just check your yeah because they have apparently they have Dyson vacuums that are worth like a thousand dollars. So well, I don't know what they retail for, but um, yeah, go steal some vacuums. No, they are they are expensive. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, moral of the story is go steal vacuums, please. Just do it. Yeah. Fucking Bed Bath and Beyond can't catch you. Yep. Uh, especially in Ohio. Go to Ohio. Do it. Do it in Boardman. I might. I don't even know where that is. Um, all right. Up next. You want to you do the next segment? Like this? I've never... I don't know this story. You know Let's this see. story? You want to do that one? <clears throat> yeah. All right. The next story is The Neighbors. A feud among neighbors in China's Hunan province that had been brewing since April 2022, recently came to a deadly head, Fox News reported on April 10th. The original feud started when Mr. Gu cut down Mr. Zhang's trees without his permission. Mr. Gu was further inflamed when Mr. Zhang's wife towed away the cut trees, so he sneaked onto Mr. Zhang's property during the night and shone a flashlight at Mr. Zhang's chickens causing 500 birds to rush into a corner and trample one another to death. (laughs) To add insult to injury, Mr. Gu returned on a different night and employed the same tactic, causing another 640 chickens to die? Where do you find these stories? Mm. No, I thought that was going to be so much worse. It's just chickens being killed. I mean, yeah, R.I.P. the chickens, but I thought this was going to culminate in, like, them murdering each other. A court... Well, they're just killing each other's chickens. A court ruled on April 4th that Mr. Gu had intentionally caused Mr. Zong to suffer property loss to the tune of about $2,000. That's it, that though? Much. Like, I feel like... <laughs> what is it? 640... But that's in China. Plus chickens? That's in China, dude. Yeah, that's true. Like 600 chickens in America is probably like uh, at least $2,100. He was sentenced to six months Definitely in prison 2000. and one year of probation. Yeah, but that's Chinese prison. Oh. That's like, that's different. Yeah. That's different. That's not like going to ERJ. I really love the title of this. It's called The, the Neighbors. Neighbors. Yeah, I thought like, I really thought that this was going to end in a murder. The neighbors. But it's really just uh I guess it was a murder, but it was I yeah, I don't a know. A murder of 
essentially about 1,100 chickens. That is so freaking crazy. On two separate occasions. Uh, so, Mr. Magoo. Goo. Do you think that um, the punishment fits the crime? A year of... Uh, six months? Six months of prison and a year of probation. Do you think that fits his crime? Because that is fucked up. Because he murdered 1,100 chickens, essentially. How many... That's a... That, like... If Alright, so if the first time he did it, 500 chickens died... And then the second time he did it, 640. That's obviously like a big farm. Like that's obviously yeah. an important So but like I don't I don't I don't think it matters how big your farm is. I think if you lose 1100 chickens in a matter of a couple months, that's probably going to put a dent in your livelihood. Yeah, yeah, it probably ultimately comes down to how much those chickens were worth. Right. Um well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if that happened in America, that the damage would be a lot be. more than $2,000. I was going to say the same thing. I think that, uh, oh my God, if it was here, I would say if it was $2,000 worth of damage here, uh-huh. I'd say mm, three months. Maybe. Right. Maybe three months. Probation, yes. But I do think that, like you said, here it would be a lot more. Yeah, I think that I think here that would probably be closer to like fifty thousand dollars or more worth of damages. Yeah, but you know they probably still would only probably put more them than in that. for six months. I don't know <laughs> how much a chicken costs to get and I raise and all that probably a lot more than I'm thinking. I don't um, know. I think that losing 1,100 chickens, um, I, I mean, essentially, that's less than $2 a chicken. So, I think here that there's no way you can buy a chicken for $2. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, there's no way. So, I think no. that uh, Mr. Magoo um, fucked up real bad, and I think he should get the death penalty, personally. <laughs> I think that's a little harsh. I, I don't. But maybe life in prison. He might, he might have ruined Mr. Dong's life. <laughs> Mr. Dong Zhong. Mr. Uh, Mr. Magoo ruined Dong Zhong's life. Um, it's not cool. I don't like it. I don't know. I'm still wondering where you got this story from because this is freaking crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like it, though. It's cool. This really is. I'm, I'm actually... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, well, he also cut down Mr. Zhu Zhang's trees without permission. That's not cool either. Yeah, but I feel like that's very, very common among neighbors. Yeah, but to cut down his chickens and his trees, I mean, <laughs> dude, you're you're fucking. What else, What's next? You can cut off his legs? Jesus. Yeah, probably. That's pretty intense. Probably. All right. Well, verdicts then. Boom. Mr. Magoo, you are not girthy. Mr. Zhang, I'm on your side. I think Mr. Magoo should get the death penalty. I disagree. I don't. I don't think he should get the death penalty for that. <laughs> but I do. Maybe life in prison. I think the death penalty is actually probably better. Yeah. No. no. I'd rather be murdered immediately than spend the rest of my life in prison. I'll tell you that much. What about you? What do you think? Would you rather die tomorrow or live for 40 years in prison? I'd rather die tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Although I heard that they have really good meat in prison. Mm. Like grade A. I know they have cock meat sandwiches. Those are pretty good. I learned that from, what was that? Uh, Did they get it from... Mr. Goose Chickens? I think it was an Ab Sandler or movie. Or Mr. Do- Mr. Dong's Chickens? I think it was an Ab Sandler movie that I... But yeah, oh, oh no, no, those chickens are... They're not going to prisons. They're going to <laughs> Purdue or Tyson. <laughs> or prison. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't or prison. know. Um, or school lunches. Yeah, oh, basically the same thing. good one. Ooh. Especially in... Yeah. All right. You ready for this one? <laughs> yep. Is that a knife in your head? What do you think this is going to mean? Just give it, give me a guess, because this is one that I actually did pre-read. Um, I, I didn't know. pre-read the other ones, but this one I did pre-read. I don't so know. what do you think the headline is? That a knife in your head is, is that going to a entail? A knife in your head. I think somebody. 
attempted to murder someone and put a knife in their head. And then the cops came and then they were like, oh, well, uh, hey, look at this guy. He's got a knife. Is that a knife in your head? Mm-hmm. Just to try to get away with it. And be like, oh, it wasn't me. All right. That's your final answer? Final answer. All right. Let's see what actually happened. Donald the Duck, a mallard who lives in St. Nolf, France, is infamous among residents because he seems to live a perfectly normal life with the blade of a knife stuck in his head. Oh my god. Oddity Central reported, while Donald could swim and eat without trouble, members of the Pinocchio at Sauvignon Society decided it should be removed. On March 31st, rescuers managed to catch him and the surgery was a success, with Donald flying the coop as soon as the door was open. Authorities are now trying to di- discover who stabbed Donald. So. So I was way off. Way off. <laughs> Somebody tried. First off, okay, so I, there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, there is. Somebody tried to first murder off, a duck. First off, Donald the duck is real. Donald duck is real. He lives in France. And somebody tried to kill him. Um, that's. Sad. I mean, is I mean, uh, is Mickey uh, a suspect? Mickey's probably the rat from. He's probably the rat czar. He's the fucking rat. <laughs> and France is full of rats. Yeah. And this is from uh, uh, the Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio is involved. I mean, we got, dude. This can't be real. Mickey Mouse. Pinocchio and Donald Duck are all involved in this shit. Is this real? Uh, yeah. Uh, ask Donald Duck. He's the one with the fucking knife wound. I wonder if they got the... So they got the knife removed? Yes, they did it with success. And he flew away. But now they're trying to discover who stabbed him. Who do you think tried to kill Donald Duck? Pinocchio. You think Pinocchio? Pinocchio. Yeah. I think that's a little on the nose because that's where he lives. It was either Pinocchio or the Rat Czar. It could be the Rat Czar. Could be the Rat Czar. Yeah. He saw... Because he saw... because the Rat Czar knows that Donald Duck is a known associate of a famous rat. You know how Addie sees the meerkats on your game and says, Oh, look, there's an alligator. Yeah. The Rat Czar probably saw Donald Duck and was like, Oh, look, a rat. a rat. And then just, like, threw a knife at his head. Could be. But the only thing that um, is not connecting with me for that one is that the rat czar is in New York. And this happened in France. But the rat czar can travel. That's true. I My money is on Chucky. Like Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese. He's jealous of Mickey Mouse and all his success. Mickey Mouse is easily the most successful rat. I mean, we can let's be real. Yeah. I mean, there's him. There's Splinter from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then there's uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. So those are like the those are like the big rats. Those are like the only rats that people like. Uh, or the Great Mouse Detective. There was that. Five Goes West. That kind of stuff. That was one of my favorite movies. But um, I'd say like, um, I think it's a, I think it was a, out of jealousy. I and I think that uh, Donald the Duck was uh, is best friends with Mickey. Donald the Duck. And uh, I think that Chucky probably said, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna hit Mickey where it hurts, and I'm gonna kill one of his best friends. So he tried to kill him. Wow. Don't be surprised if in a couple months if uh, you read a headline where they arrested Chuck E. Cheese. Wow. If they were, were they arrested Charles Entertainment Cheese. Well, Barney got arrested. He did. Those poor kids. And Steve went to college. Yeah, and died. He didn't die. He did. <sighs> <laughs> I think he did. I, I think he did. Just like the kid from Free Willy. The kid from I don't Free know Willy. If I've actually ever seen Free Willy. Yeah, the kid from Free Willy. He OD'd um, on bath salts in uh, 2003. 
Sad. I can't tell if you're sad. serious or not. It's very I don't sad. know. All right. So those are all my headlines. Um, I think those are some pretty cool stories. Yeah, that. Very interesting. Covered a lot. I think we did. I think we covered a yeah. lot on that. Anything else you'd like to add? What's going on with you? Oh what my you got? gosh. What you I got going know. on? I don't know. What you got going on? Um, Nothing really. Oh, the Orioles are kicking ass. How about that? They're good. The draft That's for is enough. tonight. Yep. Draft is happening right now right as we're now. recording this. Yeah. I hope I don't get drafted because I uh, kind of out of shape. Me uh, too. I don't. I and I don't really know if I'm suited to go to war. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ready to be the first female NFL player. You could definitely be a good punter. Could I though? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Okay. What do you think, um, if you were to play a sport professionally, what do you think, which sport do you think you would have the best chance of actually being good at? As compared to already professionals. Like, if you were walking onto the field for the first time today, what do you think that you might be able to, to just pick up and play and be really good at it? Probably Soccer. Oh, okay. So, like, European football? Yeah. Is that... No. Europe, European soccer? Are you talking European soccer or, like, American soccer? I'm talking just soccer. I don't know. Okay. Just soccer. Like, where you kick What about, like, Scandinavian soccer? Is that different? Is it all the same? Is probably, it different? I think it's all the same. I don't... I think it's all the same. I think those are all just made-up terms. I, th- I think so, too. Um... Soccer, uh, yeah, I, yeah, soccer. I, see, I think you I would have to be soccer. soccer. I feel like that's probably, you know, there really are no technical things, you know. Yeah. I feel like I just got to go onto the field and kick the ball and try to yeah. get it into the goal. And, no, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, that's a good one. I really, yeah. Soccer would be a good one. But I feel like there's so much running involved that I feel like I would, uh, I would tap out pretty quick. I don't think I'd be able to keep up. Yeah. I think I'd get tired after like the first like five minutes and be like, you know what? I need to sit out for the next like 90. I did little league soccer when I was little. Obviously. And. Well, I played, I played sports when I was younger that involved a lot of running, but I don't, I don't think I could do a whole lot of running now. And I remember being at practice and crying because I got bit by a mosquito and my leg started bleeding. So I have my pretty traumatic story about soccer are you okay Mm -hmm. i am now you're good yeah although today i did injure my toe you did injure your toe i did you want to show it off to the camera no no looks better now but i did injure my toe i'm okay but her uh big toenail just completely peeled off yeah, Ugh. Ugh. but I sucked it up in the vacuum, so it's good. Yeah, thank you for doing that. I wasn't gonna pick that shit up. Ugh. It's gross. Yeah, but uh, that's how I feel about rats. Yeah, but yeah, no, uh, I'm glad your I'm glad your foot's not like terrible, and I'm, I'm glad you don't have to get amputated. <laughs> Me too. Or have like a walking boot. I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad you didn't that break would your suck. foot. Yeah, that would, that would have been bad, especially with a baby. Yeah. I think the sport that I would uh, pick would probably be like darts. Oh, see, I didn't even consider that a sport. Because I could just like stand here and throw darts. I can I feel do like that. it's more of an activity than a sport. It's yeah. like more of well, a like body. Well, like billiards and bowling are sports. Yeah. And I wouldn't really consider those like sp- athletes. Yeah. I wouldn't consider somebody that's a professional bowler an athlete. Right. Um,. Or a, like a billiards player, like a pool player. There's professional like billiards players. I wouldn't consider them an athlete, but it is technically a sport, I guess. Yeah. Um, so if I were to try my hand at a professional sport right now, 
I think my best chance to be good at something walking off the street and be good at it would probably be darts. Or like cornhole or something. What about basketball? Well, like, I love basketball, and I was, I was pretty good at basketball once upon a time. But I think if I walked onto an NBA basketball court right now, I would get laughed out of the building. I don't think I would make it, like, one play in. I think I would just fucking, I would be a joke out there. Yeah. I could probably stand there, if I just spotted up in the corner and shot a three or something like that, I could probably manage that. I could probably get by on that. But, like, if you ask me to guard one of those fucking dudes, there's no chance. Like, that, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. It's the same thing as, like, if you asked me to tackle, like, fucking Derrick Henry, dude. Right. Like, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> like, he's going to run me over, and he's going to score, and I'm going to look like an idiot. Yeah. Like, okay. Or, like, if you yeah. asked me, like, if I like, I could also say baseball. Like, yeah, once upon a time, I was a, a pretty decent baseball player. But um, if I were to just walk up to a batter's box and try to hit a 100-mile-an-hour fastball, right. I'm probably not going to do very well. Probably not. Probably not. I know I'm not. <laughs> but I can stand right here and throw a dart at a wall over there. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Okay. 100%. Yeah. I think darts would be mine. Or maybe pool. Like billiards. <laughs> or, um, what's that game that rich people play? Fucking... Bocce ball? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like they play no, dart. no, they like play the the polo game. shit. That shit with like the fucking, whatever. I'm not rich enough for this. I don't know. It's got like these things, and then you like poke the whole the ball through it, and then you go boom with the little mallets, and then you go. Whoom. Is that not bocce? I don't know. I'm not rich. You are. I'm not rich. Mm-hmm. You're married to me. We have the same bank account. <laughs> it's true. Not rich. It's true. Definitely not rich. Not rich. (laughs) Uh, Yard games. That's just what rich people do. Like ring toss. Ring toss. See, I like redneck uh, yard games better. Cornhole. Cornhole, horseshoes, those kind of things. Yeah. I'm all about those. Cornhole is really fun. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That is a really fun game to play. You know what game uh, I like? What? The one where there's a ball on each end and a string that attaches them. And then there's the three. It's like a ladder. The three bars. And you gotta toss the. That sounds like a rich person game. No, it's not. It's, it's literally a cheap ass yard game. It's definitely a rich person's game. I like badminton. You ever played that? With the shuttlecock? Yeah, yeah, we played that in PE. I, I, like I never the liked that game. I like the shuttlecock. That's my favorite part of the game. <laughs> um, uh, what is, uh, what's some other ones? The volleyball, volleyball sucks. It's just badminton without fucking sticks and shuttlecocks. Hmm. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know. You don't know? Um, I don't know, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Soccer. Soccer sucks. All right. You're good on that. Did we um, cover Alec Baldwin? What about Alec Baldwin? Uh, we'll save. We'll save that one. <laughs> we'll save that one for a different different episode. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. You going over my notes. We have okay. Yeah, I think I think we have uh, covered. Wrap? I think we've covered everything for this week. This is the inaugural episode of the Girthy Hogs podcast. It's episode. This one. is Girth Cast episode one. We love to see it. We love it's to a see wrap. it. It kind of fell off the rails there at the end. But that's because we talk, we covered all our talking points. Um, I look forward to doing episode two coming soon. Yeah, coming we soon. have nature and pirates coming. So there's going to be two separate ones. So stay tuned. Um, one will be about nature. And the other will be about pirates. That's right. And, uh, because we all know that nature is very girthy. 
And uh, so are pirates. A lot of pirates were the girthy motherfuckers. Um, and when we say girthy, girthy means like anything that is awesome or cool or fun or enjoyable or entertaining. It's just, it's like a, an adjective that you just kind of throw on to something like, man, that's fucking girthy as hell. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that girth is fucking phenomenal. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I'm a girthy boy. I like, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have, yeah. Yeah. Living that girthy life. Living that girthy hog life. Um, yep. Fuck Alec Baldwin. Um, although he uh, he did murder a. R- Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We're oh, gonna leave right. that one We're be. Gonna We're gonna leave that one put be. Put a pen in this. He. Uh, yeah. Put a put a pen in that. Until next time, I am Supreme Alpha Girth Lord John Deutsch. Or I was trying that out. I don't like that. Uh, I'm John Deutsch. And I'm his wife, right. Stephanie Deutsch. All right. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Stay Lots tuned. More to come. Like and the video. Remember, subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend. And remember. Yeah. Um, just uh, enter the uh, sweepstakes to earn some fortune cookies. And also don't forget to like Gone Cold and the Hometown Horrors podcast. Check those out. Uh, they are both way, way, way better production value than this. Very girthy. Yeah, very, Have a great very night. girthy. I love you. Girthy hogs. A girthy hogs production. <laughs>